Hello guys, welcome back to the Debug Arena. In today's video, we will see what is protected and private route in React.js. So first, let's try to understand what is meant by protected and private route. If you think about the protected route, you can take that as a route or the screen that are only accessible once you are logged in. Then what is private route? If we take example of this application, in this there are two type of user which can do login. One is the normal user and the other one is admin. When this user will do login, he will be navigated to user profile screen and when admin will do login, he will be navigated to admin dashboard. If you think about this, both this user will do login first. That means both will have access to the protected route. But at the same time, we also want that this user should not access the admin dashboard and vice versa. So we can tackle that situation using private route. So first, let me show you the demo of what we are going to make in today's video. Okay, you can see here, this is the login page and currently I am unauthenticated user and I am getting these three navigations. About is a public route, that means it will be available for everyone. Now I will go to login and let's login as a user. So I will open the console and here let's enter email and password. You can see here I have logged in successful and here my user type is user. I will click on this OK button and you can see my routing has been changed and here I am getting the user's detail. These two are the navigation which are only allowed to the user type user. That's why I am getting them here and also you can notice that login and register is not here. It is because once the user is logged in, he should not be allowed to go to login and register screen again. Now what if I come here and inside the URL I pass login. Will it navigate me to login and the answer is no. It will again navigate me to this user details. This is all about protected route. It will not allow the user to navigate anywhere without authentication and permission. Now I will do log out and let's log in as admin. And you can see that my user type is admin and when I click on OK, now the navigations are changed. Now the routings are different and this routing is only available for admin. Now what will happen if I come here and I will pass user details which is a navigation of user and you can see it is navigating back to the admin dashboard. So this is about private route. Now let's go to the code and implement the functionality. Okay, you can see here this is my app.js and if I scroll down here I have imported all my component and I have assigned them to some particular routes. Now to apply the protected and the private route there are two main data which we have to get. The first one is that when user is logged in we have to get that and the user type we have to get. In my case if you see here I have created this variable is logged in and I am getting that from window.local storage. Same thing for user type. Now you might be thinking from where I have said that. For that I will go to login component and inside this, this is the API which is doing the login and once the login is successful, here I am getting data.status as ok and after that here I am storing the token in local storage. In the same way, I am storing this data.user type which I am getting from backend to the local storage and this logged in. Here inside app.js, I am just getting that. So to apply the protected and the private route, we must get these two data. All of us might get this data from different sources like I am getting from local storage. You might get from session storage or auth context. It doesn't matter. Just we have to get this data. Once this is done, we can start with protected routing. Before moving to the protected routing, I will go to navbar.js and here you can see I have listed all the component that should be available inside navbar. Now let's check the output of my application as of now. This is the output and here you can see all the links are visible and I can navigate to any link without any restriction. So let's apply protected routing to restrict the user. So I will come here to my code. I will go inside components and let's create one file protected route.js. Here let's create the basic structure. Okay, this is the basic structure. Now what I will do, I will go to app.js and let's copy this piece of code which is telling us whether the user is logged in or not and it is getting that data from windows.local storage. Then I will write one condition here that if is logged in is equal equals to true that means my user is logged in. I will return here outlet and this outlet should be imported from react router DOM. Otherwise I will write here navigate. This navigate should also be imported from react router DOM. Okay and inside this I can pass to and if user is not logged in then it should be navigated to login screen. So I will write here login. Okay, this is done. I will save this. Then I will go to my app.js and currently you can see here that all my routing are listed here. So I will come here and let's make a space between this. I will write here protected route. Then I will comment this line. Okay, then here I will write route like this, not like this usual. We have to do it like 
opening and a closing tag and inside this route i can pass element and this element will refer to our protected route so i will write here protected route not like this we have to pass the whole component and now inside the protected route what route we have to add we will add all of this like user detail product and admin dashboard i will copy here paste it here i will save this now let's check the output so i will come here and you can see everything is visible why it is because we have not touched the navigation yet but if i try to click on this user detail you can see i am not navigating there if i click on this dashboard i am not navigating there on product not navigating there but on about i am navigating there like you can see here so this is totally working fine also if i come here and write admin dashboard still i will not be navigated there so this is how you can apply protected routing like first you can create a protected route and add your condition here like in my case i am checking the authentication if everything is true i am passing this outlet this outlet will represent the inner element so here i have made this route as a protected route and inside this all the element are protected that means they are only accessible only after their is logged in condition is fulfilled okay this is done but still there are many issues in our application let me show you so i will come here and let's try to do login so i will go to login i will enter email and password i will click on submit button okay and you can see i have been logged in as a user and here i am getting the user detail but when i click on dashboard i am navigating to admin dashboard which should not happen also when i am clicking on login i am navigating to login screen like when user is logged in he should not be allowed to go to login or register or the admin dashboard so we have to handle this condition also so now we have to handle two condition the first one is that when user is logged in and he clicks on login or register or he enters the url he should not be allowed to do that if he enters the url he should navigate it to this user details page same goes for dashboard and the second condition will be that if admin is logged in he should not be allowed to go to user details now you might tell me that i am showing this nav bar that's why user is navigating to login or register this is not true even if i am here and i will go to this url and i will write register if this is allowing then it will allow the user to go to register so we have to tackle this in our routing so now let's tackle both of these scenarios here first thing which i will do i will come here and i will write here unauthorized route i will comment this now i will come here and let's add one condition that is if is logged in is not true that is user is not logged in then i will show these things so i will just create a default structure here and inside this i can paste these two things which is login and sign up along with login and sign up i will also add one default route which will be this and it will navigate the user to login so this is done now i will save this after this to tackle the scenario of login and register inside protected route i will copy this i will come here and i will paste that now we want that whenever user is logged in and he presses the login or enters the url of login he should be navigated to the default screen so for that i will come here and i will write navigate and it will navigate user to the default screen like this i will copy the same thing for the register also but you can notice here that we have not defined any default route so i will come here i will copy this i will remove this user details and here also when it is navigated to the default it should navigate to the user details so instead of this here i can pass user details here i am not passing the component because it will only load the component it will not change the url but if i pass like navigate to it will change the url also now i will save this let's check the output okay navigate is not defined let's import the navigate it should be navigated from react router dom i will save this let's go here okay now when i click on register you can see it is coming back to user details login user details and when i click on dashboard it is navigating to admin dashboard now let's handle this scenario so i will come here now i will make some space here so whenever user is logged in this login and register will be same like it will navigate to the default here like the user type doesn't change the outcome of this okay now for others what i will do i will add one condition here which is if my user type is not equals to admin okay that is my user is user then i will render this routing okay and this routing i will paste this okay and if my user type is admin then i will render this routing this routing i will paste these two routing are same as this so i will just remove this okay i will save this 
Now here let's modify this for the normal user. The default screen is user details, which is correct. Path user details will navigate to user details, correct product, product, correct. But for admin dashboard, it should navigate to default only. Okay, so I will copy this navigate to and instead of this admin home, I can pass it. Okay, cool. Now coming to the admin. So for admin, the default screen will be admin dashboard. So I will remove this and it should be admin dashboard and user detail. It should navigate to default, which is admin dashboard for product. Also, it should navigate to default. Okay, this is done. This is how you can do protected route and this is the private route that is admin. There can be an efficient way also. So if you find that way, then please let me know in comment or you can raise the PR to my GitHub. I will accept that. And here at last, you can say this is the public routing. And here I will add one more routing, which will state are here. That means if something went wrong, like the URL is different, then I can pass here, navigate to the default, whatever default is present. Okay. I will save this. Let's check the scenarios. So I will come here and if I click on register, okay, login dashboard product working fine about working fine i will do the logout let's click on this dashboard okay working fine user detail working fine product working fine and let's log in as a admin okay and here i can click on this dashboard so working fine user detail working fine register working fine login working fine product working fine and about is also working fine so now everything is done from the functional perspective now let's manipulate this navbar Okay, let's scroll up and here you can see inside the navbar I am passing is logged in and user type as a prop and inside the navbar.js I am accepting them. So now let's add the conditions to show the navbar component based on their authentication. I will come here and I will add condition that if is logged in is false that is user is not logged in then I will show this structure which will contain this login and register. So I will just copy them from there and paste them here. So this is done. Now I will come below. Let's add another condition here, which is if my is logged in is true, that means user is logged in and its user type is equals equals to admin. If both the condition is true, then I will render this element, which is link of dashboard. So I will just remove them from here and paste that here. Otherwise, only if my is logged in is true, that is my user is logged in, but its user type is not admin. If that's the case, then I will render these two element, which is this user details and product. So I will remove them from there and copy paste that here. Okay. This is done. And this about will be always there. So you can see here the condition. This is the condition for unauthorized and this is the condition for admin. And this particular is the condition for user. I will save this. Let's check the output. I will come here and you can see currently I am logged in as admin. So I'm only getting dashboard. I'm logged out. So I'm getting these three. And if I log in as user, I'm getting these three element. So this is how you can apply protected and the private route in your react JS application. Let me know in comment whether you understand this video or not. And if you find more efficient and the optimized way to do this, then please let me know in comment and raise the PR in my GitHub repo. I will accept that and merge them with my code. That's it for the video. Make sure to check out my previous video to learn all of these things. Thank you for watching.